Yes, guys, what's going on? Then it's your boy NJ. Welcome to the NJ Show, the home of all your reaction videos. This is it, then the place to be for all of your entertainment. That's right, your entertainment needs. So, step right up. What have you got for me? Well, you guessed it. The man's back on. The man, the man, the myth, the legend. The one they call Andrew Tate, aka Top G. This is Andrew Tate's best podcast moments. Now, we're going to split this up into different parts because it is a long ass video so what 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 do you reckon 10 minutes let's try and do 10 minutes of reaction we could i could definitely watch the well nearly 50 minutes but just for you guys let's keep it short let's keep it sweet let's keep it entertaining right so yeah let's get on to it and let's get stuck in man cannot wait don't forget like and subscribe you know that good stuff as always expect the unexpected and let the countdown commence on three two one let's react in the world we live in today you need to establish credibility and whether people like it or not wealth is a way to establish credibility like there's a lot of people who dislike me and that's fine True that. but it's hard to deny that i am fiscally successful at least and that gives you a degree of credibility which gives you some yep. presence when you speak it's, it's hard to point. ignore a guy who you know has hundreds of millions of dollars no man is completely and utterly a one woman man that's my point there's a societal expectation which has been placed upon humanity. And then we have a biological and evolutionary imperative. And the male evolutionary imperative is not to have one female. Well, he's now, got another point. There are some point. dudes out there who disagree <laughs> with me, but those are dudes, they got low testosterone, they're not the big G, they ain't got no money. They ain't nothing, right? That's different. But any man who's actually in a position of status, since the dawn of human time, every single king, every single sultan, all of them had more than one chick. That's actually the natural human state. No, I don't Just give a describe fuck. Describe your ideal man. <laughs> My ideal man is Drake, but loyal. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Drake, but loyal. Drake. Let me tell you something. He's I'm, gay, I know. I know. He's I've gay. had a thousand women say the same thing to me. What? A thousand okay. women have said to me, Drake has the hands of a girl. Oh my God. You can look at a man and see a man's hands. Do you understand me? Like, That's his first, hands. I didn't know that. Uh, you know, yeah. look, Google Drake. Put it on the screen. Google, 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 Google Drake. Google Drake's hands. Google Drake's hands. Put it on the screen. <laughs> He's, he's trying to hands hell. of a girl. He's trying to right now, actually. If I were to grab him by his neck. Yeah. Drake called me dirty, but yes. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, wow. Is that a man's hands? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> baby hands. You let those hands touch you? That's why you saw my They're fingers soft, are longer than baby that. Baby hands. Like, no one analyzes anything. They just want to get rich, right? I want to be rich, but they have no plan to get rich. And a hope and a plan are very different things. I explain this to people all the time. Everyone has a dream, but no one has a plan. And nothing good is gonna happen on accident, right? I didn't become world champion on accident. I didn't wake up and someone go, how'd you become world champion? And I went, oops, <laughs> you, you have to plan for it. I know, get, get rid of that. Get rid, get of, rid of, that. of that. Get rid of that stupid that shit. That won't respect oh, wow. me crap, that's not real. Is that yeah. real, really? I, you know what, so many women say to me, you're so, Andrew, you know what? You're so rich, but you're smart and you're actually very intelligent and I know you'd get really bored of a, like a robot. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch, I wish to God you were a robot. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up. We talking about star signs? Oh yeah, I'm so glad. Oh, Tell me man. more about by Sagittarius rising. You idiot. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Give me a robot. All the men want robots. Awesome. That's all we want. What do you need in the Some bank to say fuck you money? Spot the bit. You need a lot more than money to say fuck you money. That's the whole thing about it, right? Because fuck you money in and of itself isn't a real concept. Fuck the whole idea of fuck you money doesn't work if you're still being paid by the matrix if you're still stuck inside of a contract and your words are are controlled there's a lot of people with a lot of money who can't say what they think a lot of people with a lot of money who still have to take the injection they're told to take a lot of people with a lot of money who can't stand up and say no that's wrong i don't agree with this because they're going to lose contracts sponsorships etc so to say fuck you money i mean you have to have enough money to not ever work again depending on how you earn money because i'm completely and utterly self-sufficient i can't be canceled so i think my fuck you money number is actually going to be lower than others because my money will never stop all I do is fight. My life is a fight. What do you mean I'm not what fighting a battle? Like, I'm fighting a like battle against the oppression of humankind. How are you doing this? that? I mean, how am I doing that? I'm, I'm the only person who didn't coward out at the beginning of this imaginary scamdemic. I'm out here literally resisting the enslavement of man. What do you think I'm trying to make all this money for? More cars? No. I'm making money specifically so that I am to a degree, at least. So I said to Tristan, we need to discuss money. We need to plan this and we need to work out a way we can get rich. And that's when I started analyzing and understanding banks 
and the, the, the credit system and the money system, how the world actually works. Right. And then I got really pissed off because I realized that money isn't real and it's all a scam. <laughs> and, and the banks are destroying us in real time with inflation. True I still don't have any. Women are absolutely happy saying, you know what? I know I have the best man on the planet and I know I make him happy. Women are happy yeah. with that. Yeah, that's true. They're far more happy with that than they are working some fucking career. Yeah. And some garbage. Oh, I have thoughts and opinions and a job. Yeah, shut oh, the bullsh- fuck Shut the up. fuck up. Have kids, Dumb sit bitch. at home, be quiet, make coffee. Yeah. And, and it makes everybody happier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's good for everyone. I, I don't good. know how this is but even controversial anymore. Right, but, but Cobra, might I interject that if women were truly happy doing that for so long, maybe this whole women's lib thing, how did that come about? That's a psyop from the New World Order. They're deliberately trying to turn women against men. They have to divide the peasants. That's the only way they, the elites can retain control. They turn the blacks against the whites, the Democrats oh. against the Republicans, the women against the men. It's all a psyop, and they there do it purposefully. Go. Listen, a revolution is nothing more than men standing in one place and saying this shit has to change. The reason there's no revolution, despite the absolute tyranny we experience here in the Western world, is because most men aren't allowed out, out the house because their wife will get mad at them. You have to be home at 10 o'clock. I mean, it's enough, but you know, but having having fuck you money is not enough. I have so I have a true. fuck you. You have to have a fuck you life. You can't just have fuck you money. I'm I'm sitting out here in Romania in, inside of a house with twenty armed guards outside with with a tower and AR-15s, and I'm I've got ten passports and fifty five bank accounts, and like that's what you need to have fuck you money. You can't just See, sit in America with that one. That sounds passport. bad. You know, that sounds like you're like on the run. Yeah, no, that but it's sounds like you're on the, the terminal. It's not about being on the run. Just sit in America and have twenty million dollars with one passport, sitting in America, thinking you have fuck you money. No, you don't. You say the wrong thing. You piss the government off. They're gonna come in your house. They're gonna fucking take the house you own. They're gonna lock you up. You ain't got fuck you money for nothing. This whole thing's a par- the whole paradigm's a lie. The government's the biggest mafia in the world. If you can't tell them to fuck off, you can't tell anyone to fuck off. So the whole the whole idea of fuck you money is it, all skewed anyway. Like you you have to be above the law in many different ways to truly have fuck you money. And you're not going to do that under one jurisdiction. I don't like traveling the world with women. I think it's one of the most frustrating things a man can possibly do. <laughs> okay. Imagine you had to travel around the world and take a three-year-old with you. You'd be like, and I go, where's my three-year-old? Has it eight? I have to make sure they're safe. Got to bring all their stuff. It's exactly the same with the chick. Me and my brother, we're Spartan, right? We can just go, rock up at an airport. Ah, oh, there's no flight for 11 hours. Sleep in the airport terminal. Don't eat, don't sleep. One bag on our back. <laughs> Old school soldiers, we don't care. With the chick, it's all, oh, I need food, I need water. Oh, where's my stuff? My case is 55 kilo. Oh, I forgot this foundation. I need to find this foundation. It's, it's horrible. I do agree. Like if, I, if, I, if I haven't eaten, I'm not good. Yeah, so women are effectively children. And well, no. <laughs> yeah, see, no. So we got there. We're just, no. we're just, we're just uh, different to men. We're not children. Okay. A child couldn't sit here and have this conversation with you. What Women you have to be monitored and maintained and maintenanced effectively <laughs> like a child would when it comes to Not travel. like a child. Yeah, same. Exactly the same. It's the same. It's so, interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. No, listen. Me, if, if I'm going to go Iraq, Afghanistan, all the places, and I've been to these places, I go with Tristan. We're about ready. Okay, we hear the AK go off. We, we start running. Like a chick will all be standing there. Ah. As I've been fighting all around the world, I had these six girlfriends, right? Because you'd win the world title, you fuck a ring girl, she falls in love with you, you're the big millionaire in London, of course, she thinks, she thinks you're living the balling life, you're in some <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny apartment <laughs> with a door lock. So um, I had these girlfriends and I thought, well, I can't open a strip club, it costs money to open a strip club. And I'm kind of racking my brain and by absolute coincidence, I'm going around the internet and I saw in the corner, talk to live girls now. And I'd never in my life, like I was never a porn guy. I've never been watching porn or clicking on these things. And I said, talk to live girls. So I clicked on it and there's some chick there on a computer, like hi, and I was like, my girls can do that. So that, that was the very beginning. That was the eureka moment. And I walked into my, no my brother's bedroom and I said, top G. we're gonna start a webcam company. You're not be. gonna feel it's like a king be. or feel brave enough to go and re- rebel against a new world order if you don't even feel in charge of your own house. That's, if you're not a king in your that. own house, then how are you a king anywhere else, right? And, and the law is set up in a way in the I'm Western world. Like that. The law is set up in a way in the Western world where men have absolutely zero power. Most men are, are clinically depressed, working jobs they hate, for in sexless marriages, and they know they can't leave because they lose the house, and they lose the kids, and they lose everything else. So they don't have t- time to be concerned with anything that's actually happening in the world. They keep us divided and distracted. And empowering females is the easiest way to weaken the will of men. Mm. What happened when you con- when the Romans conquered the Greeks? The first thing they did was kill all the fighting age males. 
And we live in a world now where they are deliberately killing the fighting age males, they're killing the spirit, the warrior spirit inside of men, and they're doing that by motivating men, sorry, motivating females and empowering to the point where they're gonna sit there and go, you know what, I'm a feminist, you can't tell me what to do. I'm allowed to go out with my friends, he's just my friend. I'm allowed to sleep at his house and drink vodka. Oh, I only sucked his dick, what's the problem? <laughs> you know what, fine, we get a divorce, I'm taking the fucking house. Yeah. This is bullshit. Yeah. Yep. You believe wow. that if you're a law-abiding wow. citizen, the government- Top G. It's never gonna come for you and they're never gonna hurt you because you stick to the rules. And if you have not learned anything in the last three years of COVID that the rules can be turned and used against you at any moment to lock you in your fucking house without reason, where they can come along and become a communist country at the drop of a hat and literally restrict your very movement. And you just sit there and say that I trust these people absolutely and completely with my freedom and control over my life is asinine. After all the times you've had no. God damn. I love to go spend $25,000 for dinner. Not because the money. $25,000 no. for dinner. All the time, yeah. No, yeah, no, but yeah, all the time. We're in Miami. Where have you been? Great places, but I'm not putting down 25k for dinner. Because you're a chick. The females don't pay anything for anything. They don't. In Miami, <laughs> they don't pay anything. Yeah. Unbelievable. But it's anyway. a, so the beginning of it was wow. I messaged my six girlfriends and told them they're all coming to live with me and I had a job for them in London. Uh, two of them wouldn't come. Four of them agreed. I was like, we're gonna make money, lose money, a bunch of money. You're gonna live with me, blah blah blah. We live the dream. Right now, I'm in between apartments, so I'm in this shitty apartment. <laughs> you know, because kickboxing's not boxing, bro. You're not making millions like the boxers are. So the four girls flew in. I sat them all down at a table. They're all like, "Who's this chick? Who's this chick?" Told them all the truth. I just straight sat there. Just sat there and said, "Listen, I've been with you all. I'm starting a webcam business. I'm gonna get rich. Some of you are gonna come with me to the top of the mountain, or if you're pissed off, you can fucking fly home." Just very matter of fact to the point because I needed money at this point. Now I have not agreed to take another fight. I need money now. So uh, two of them left. Two of them agreed to stay. And the beginning of my cam empire was this tiny little apartment. Me and my two girlfriends. How do you feel about wow, women? Wow, what a legend, man! The guy knows his shit. Is there anything that you didn't? Well, is there anything that you didn't disagree with? Let me know. Hit it up down in the comments but everything in that 10 minute segment all right he puts it in certain ways he puts it in ways which are funny but ultimately and not he's not talking about every individual on the planet he's only talking about his experience right but most of the things pretty much everything right it's correct whether you like it or not yes like i said there's a you know a funny element put to it to make it entertaining you know about how you you know, the reasons traveling with a chick. It's like being with a child. Yes and no, right? You get the funny side, but you also get, you know, the serious side and think, hang on a minute. Yeah, he is right. <laughs> he is right. And even she, to a certain point, agree with it. She knows when she they're hungry. They can complain. They can moan, you know. That's the way, that's the way it is. What are you going to do? What he says is the truth, right? He says the truth, but he backs it up. In a funny way. That's it. Me, I love a bit of Top G, Andrew Tate. He, Andrew Tate, he's the man, right? He's the boy. Love it. Can't wait until he's back on our screens very, very soon. Indeed, it's going to be electric. You know when he's going to be released from prison. It is going to break the internet. And we'll be there to react to it, no doubt. So, guys, as always, hit up. Your next request, we're going to do Andrew Tate on, you know, a lot more. I cannot wait. We're going to, like I said, this is going to be part one. We're going to do part three, part three, and so on, so forth, until we get the end of this video. But yeah, it's going to be fun. I enjoyed every minute of that. It's always good to have him on. So yeah, guys, if there's anything that you want me to check out and see, whether it be Andrew, Tra Andrew Tate or anyone else, in fact, Tell me, I'll react to it. Right then, there we have it. That was part one of Andrew Tate's best podcast moments. So join me for part two. It's going to be Liddy in the city. You do not want to miss it. So let's rendezvous right back here. Same time, same place, same channel. You know who I am. I'm your boy, NJ. You've been on the NJ show. You know what time it is. It is time to go. But we will see you very soon in the next reaction video. Remember, life is temporary. Don't be ordinary. We'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Later.